going on guys? Jurassic here. Today we're back to Jedi Fallen Order. Alright, so let's see. Where are we supposed to be going right now? It looks like it's going to be a treasure room. Probably like the last one where we have to solve like a puzzle or something. Different than the other tomb. I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> I was bringing those in the other room. Alright, so hold on. Explore the tomb of Mitrical. Probably butchering that name, but you know what? To here, drop down a little bit, like so. Seer, why didn't you tell me? Because she's a liar. You. How? I rerouted communication the moment you tried to contact her. Slicing encrypted transmissions. Slicing encrypted transmissions was always a pastime of hers. She taught me one. There's no technique there has that I haven't perfected. I wouldn't necessarily say that was a good origin, but... So... Is she a dark side deserter? What exactly is going on right now? Maybe it was in the lore or something that we missed in a movie or something, but I don't remember either one. fight you, but I'm going to have to. Am I? As long as he doesn't come through that door, I'm fine. Some stuff is better to pick and choose your target. You got, buddy? Something interesting? My friend. These devices appear to simulate this planet's gravitational pull. I can't help but see it as a motif. That's cool. Alright, so hold on. So we get upstairs. Meditation point. Looks like we got more climbing to the world. Seemed to be a lot harder than the people. Except for the first night lady. She was pretty tough. Artifact of interest at the rear of this tomb. Even now I'm studying it. Learning his secrets. Cordova was last taken with these Zephyrs. Perhaps enough to hide the holocron on their bones. Let's see how much he can He can't end him! So the real question is, why is she sending a ton her whole monologue to us? I feel like there's more to this story than what's being told at the moment. Okay, so we get you. Climb over to the other side, and I bet there's a magnet over there that'll pull it to it. In which case, we just drop the orb on top of it. So maybe it's on a different room. Let's move, BD. Want to look inside? Let's see what you found. Let's look. My friend, what I found here is disconcerting. So we push this guy back over here, get up top, kill a few things. I assume that guy had something in his mouth. I was wrong. <laughs> Turns out he could have lived. He was just trying to run for his life. All right, well, we can meditate. And somewhere around here has to be the right way to go, right? I went a lot better in my head. Why can I not destroy you anymore? 
Okay, so the robot must acquire like a flamethrower attachment or something. That'd be kind of cool. Then it can actually help out in combat. Because right now we're not able to interact with anything, so we're missing something. Alright, so now that we made it across, climbing across over to this other side here. Be able to jump over here. Bring you into the monster. The other guy will just make him destroy himself over there. Afraid to face me yourself? Had your droid not intervened, I would have killed you with ease. It's okay, buddy. Just ignore her. What did that do? I think we need it close. Too scared. Your guard is pretty solid. Thank you. Uh, let's see. How do we have to go up and around? Gotcha. You're not getting out of here alive. Okay, so it looks like they might have a couple. All you gotta do is grab the vine. Alright, so all we gotta do is kill a couple more of these guys, and then we'll be good. We never know! Up here! You cannot defeat me! You are with it. Is near. I need a stim, BD. He's ridiculous. Just get up here so I can kill you. All part of the plan. That guy, for some reason, gave us a lot harder time than I was expecting. All right, so let's jump over here. All for health, just in case. Ah, intruder! <laughs> To deal with you. I'm breaking inside of here. How would you what? I don't know if I hit this button, does it open up behind us? Did not. Okay, what if we hit the button and then run? That kind of works. Nice. And of course it works. All right, so we'll get up top to this side. I think 
you're right above an enemy right now. So we'll let these things eat the flamethrower guy or the flamethrower guy kill them, just since I don't like the flamethrowers. Right, one more hit. Go. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to have to do it. I gave you the option to die by them, but you just refused to. All right. So jump up across. Grab the vine. Make it up top of here. All this is just so we can knock a ball down from the other side of a room that we couldn't reach. So he went that way. If We're going to go this way. Back, the Empire would have missed if it weren't for your intervention on this backwater planet. You sure it's worth the cost? I hear Project Augur came at a high price. Stormtroopers and workers. Expendable resources. You're a monster. I am what says. <laughs> you made me. Yes. Ooh, they burn the vines. Touch water, they break. Good to know. All right, so that gets us across. Gets us up here, and we jump across. You know, I think we might be onto something now. All right, so now that we got that situated. They keep calling us a traitor for some reason, too. I don't know if we were on, like, the dark side beforehand with this guy or what. That is such a cheat to have that stupid rat sit there and get in the middle of a fight. No, sometimes I hit. Hit very hard. All right. So now let's ignore those things so I don't feel like fighting it. If you guys were curious, that part there was not intuitive at all to throw the lamp at it for fire. It should have been. I just I understand that that's what they were getting at. Come on, don't let him get you. Which I mean, it was totally my fault, but still, that could have used like a little bit of like a tooltip or something. Back to my ship for analysis. Pity you make it time. Doesn't matter what you steal, you'll never understand it. Yet you do? You'll find out soon enough. I'll take those off. So we get to another bell that we can't control. Alright, so we need to go up and around, jumping across. There's a vine there, so hopefully we eventually get to free that vine. Sure we don't accidentally fall off or anything. All right, so we go over to the up and around to the left. <gasps> Barely caught on to it, but we did it. Help. Down, heal ourselves just in case we have to fight some stuff. And now we're ready to continue this cave. This looks like the easy part. All we gotta do is walk through here without getting crushed. It looks like their interval is slow enough that you can just sort of hop through. Maybe you're trying to speed run it, you could like use the force and freeze it, but I don't think that's necessary. So I activated the thing, not sure what it did, and now we're going through this little crack. So that must be the relic they're talking about. Let's see, so we need to sneak over here to the right side, it looks like. 
we'll run across. This is a big little dungeon that they got here. Now, are we able to jump up here? I noticed something while examining the sarcophagus. It's a very convenient location to dispose of nuisances. You lured me here. Was this your plan all along? You truly have the wits of a scrapper. Something over there. Moving back. Don't let him escape. There he goes. Confirm. Get him already. What's that above? What's up? Get him deadly. Get out of the move. Get him weak. Switch to close combat tactics. All right. Use the force, slow this guy down. Keep attacking him! Get away from the He's too swift for me! Well, wipe out all the traitors! See, once again, he's talking about a traitor. I don't get that. You aren't quick enough. Like, I don't know. It's odd. Badly, aren't we? Get up to down me! I need a stim, BD. Is that shit about to shoot us whenever we kill this guy? Padawan, where is the Force? Everywhere it is within me, it surrounds me. Just so. It connects you. There will be times when emotion, pain, or exhaustion trick you. You will feel cut off, isolated. This is an illusion. Your lightsaber lies there, out of reach, but you remain connected through the Force. Feel that energy around you and summon your weapon. Real question is, if I could do this, why do I even need this little platform to be raised? Forces within you, around you, connecting you to your weapon. You must if you did everything, I would be able to pull down obstacles too. Force is with me. It connects us. Yeah, I think so. Well, you can grab vines now? No, that's pretty cool. Almost clicked the wrong button there. That could have been bad. So you have to click LT to grab the vines or else you'll fall to your death. Alright, well, now we learned how to pull objects. We learned how to get through this tomb. I don't think she actually has anything that she found inside of here. I could be wrong, but it just doesn't really seem like this tomb has had anything at all compared to the last one. I guess I have no clue how satisfying it is to actually get rid of these vines. I always allow contingencies. And why would you sit there and tell her you're alive? That's just stupid. Alright, so now that we know how to pull, we can push. We're supposed to raise the statue. Which I'm assuming means we're going to have to figure out a way to get that big ball in the middle there to ink outside of its little holder. Adversary inbound. <laughs> Is he trying to escape? Let's do. Destroy him! <laughs> he can't beat all of us. Keep your distance. How can we stand against this?
hold on. Now we got all that stuff acquired. I don't think I actually need to fight you, so goodbye. So you swing across, get a few <laughs> missiles launched at us, and jump all over here. Stim here, BD. Ah, see, so we want us to pull you. So is my cool shortcut possible for me to use it? I could use the stem. You must be using this thing wrong. There's no way this works that way. Worked out the way we were using it for. Not intentionally though, but nice. We've got an insurgent. Drop him. Ah. You can't stand against us. Ah. Moving back. Good eyes moving. Get out of the way. Get out of it. Ah. Up now. Here we go. MVD. It's almost like we're a professional now. Are you able to climb up you? Okay, so this is back to the wall running thing. Helps when you actually use the right wall. Go in there. This was an offering to the sage buried here. At the time, it was considered precious. So is this why there's monsters in here sometimes? To balance it out so you don't have to fight everything? So, I mean, I think this is kind of cool just watching this dude, you know, do his own thing here. It'd be cooler if he was dead, because I could definitely fight the people. Alright, so they got a few up top. I yank you, stick you all the way over here. This guy. And that was sort of on the ground level anyway, so you should have been able to reach for it. And I'm looking for a hole in the wall. Okay, so don't throw a fire at the big dude because it just sort of makes me angry. So we're looking for a way to go back up top. I guess it would be that area that we just entered from. thing. Now you're dead. I don't have to... Oh, have I never scanned one of you? Thanks, BD. So I was sitting there thinking that we were doing it right, but I think we have to go all the way around. I don't think we need the fireplace thing. I think it would be useful. One of the traps, but hopefully we have more of those over there. Which I don't think we can use it while we're climbing anyways. Okay, so this is definitely the tomb fighting. He's managed. 
All right, so the plan is you turn on the generator, which turns the force field on to hold the lanterns, grab these little fire orbs, and then you're able to toss them into the blue lines, in which case it gets dragged to the wall. And then you're able to jump across over here to this side, where we're able to get a good look at the vine, and hopefully throw one of these guys at the vine and catch it on fire. That's my plan so far, at least. Which, I mean, theoretically it should work. I don't know how to get it. Alright, so it looks like we have to go up top to actually burn the thing. So we're going to end off on today's video here, and then we'll catch back up on, on the next one. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.